Hi there, Virgo. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your July 2017 general reading. Uh, thank you to all the subscribers, watchers, commenters, and viewers, and bookers. Um, you guys have been keeping me very busy. Thank you so much. Um, if you'd like to book a private reading, you can email me via the information below. That is the best way to do it. That way I don't have to uh, go searching around Facebook and wherever else you contact me. I can go right to my email and find the information quickly. Um, if this doesn't resonate with you, go ahead and check your rising sign or your moon sign. And then if those don't resonate, then perhaps I'm just not the reader for you. Um... So here we go. This is for Virgo, July 2017. What do you have for Virgo? By golly, there you are. First card fell out. <sighs> Thank you, God, angels, spirits, and universe for assisting me today with everybody, for everybody that I'm about to read for today. There you are, Virgo. First card jumped out. That's Virgo's card. This is for the month of July, 2017. <coughs> the sun has just come up, just so you know. So if you see a glare, that's what it is. I'm not shutting the shade because I love the sun. So it looks like you, your home life is doing very, very well at this time. Perhaps you're feeling very um, comfortable, content, at ease. Everything is going smoothly. Um, you're not having any worries at all at home. I think it's very um, content. Um, then we have uh, this wonderful union of some sort between you and another person. Um, I guess you're working together. You're, you've decided to work together with somebody pretty nicely. All right. Um, I see a new offer of emotional support. I don't know what that's about, but we'll get into that more. I also see that, um, some kind of truth or some kind of decision has happened. I think it's a decision. You've made a decision and to do the right thing. Okay, you've made a decision and to do the right thing for you. You've made a decision to do the right thing for you. That's the message of the Justice card. It's also a Libra. Um, doesn't have to be a Libra. In this reading right now here without laying out any other cards, this is about your justice. This is about you doing the right thing for you and following your path towards love, okay? I think that you have, uh, you know, you've been persistent. 
and you've had your defenses up. And perhaps you felt alone, like you're fighting on your own, but um, you're doing good. You're still on top. You're not on the bottom. You're still ahead. And you're one step further than you were yesterday. And it's just a forward path. It looks like you are moving forward and you were doing it fairly quickly. Um, and you're making the right decisions for yourself. Okay, you're putting yourself first. That's what I see. And because you're doing that, everything else is falling in line. Looks pretty good to me. This is July 2017. Perhaps you've let something go. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps you have. Some you've let something go. You've come into your own. There's the con there's but there was too many conflicts and too many burdens. Perhaps with this mate that you were with. And um perhaps you've let them go. You've walked away. You're not going to cry about it. There's no more competition. It's over. And that's why you feel so content at home. Because there's no more opposition. That could be it. And if you haven't let them go physically, you may have just let them go mentally and emotionally. And the physical part could come later. But I think, you know, it could be for some of you, it will be that all of you have, uh, not all of you, but, um, Many of you will have actually let somebody go physically, okay? It's a time of introspection. Letting go for good. Because once those, uh, those ten of wands are burned, they don't come back. They're gone for good. <clears throat> This is an air sign. Um, perhaps it's the other person in this relationship because here you are and they're connected. This is a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And um, perhaps they have a, quite the temper. They have quite the temper and they are, they're not happy. Seems like they're never happy. Never, never happy. And they've, they've made you feel like you have to keep your guard up. Okay? Or like you're always fighting. Here we have a Libra as well. Then we have a water, there are water signs up there. Okay? Um, <laughs> things are... This is the making the right decision for you because you can't have this anymore. You can't have this disarray and disorganization. All you want is peace and love. All you, you're headed in that direction. You're headed towards peace and love. You don't want this disarray and disorganization and chaos because that's not who you are. You're into security and stability. I mean, that's who you are. This chaos bullshit is for the birds. <coughs> this is about something from the past, perhaps. This, whatever's going on in your life, okay, has stems from your childhood, okay? That's where you come into um, doing what's right for you. Because... You seriously don't want to, you don't want to fight anymore. That's what I hear. <laughs> okay. So this is an Aries or it's a father, mother, boss, leader, authority figure, somebody in a leadership position that um, adheres to society. This person uh, cares about what the Joneses think. And they care about what, you know, the rest of the world thinks, unfortunately. So they really, really do. 
they, this is the king. And the king provides for his society, you know. So, or he answers to society. So this person has a big ego, all right. It's not you, it's the other person in this other half up here that's come along your path to teach you some kind of life lesson. They have an ego, they're dominant, they want to be in control. They're not going to back down. Um, and it's causing a lot of, causing you a lot of strife, okay? It's causing you a lot of burdens, mental burdens, and conflicts. There's definitely some conflicts going on within within this relationship. But the fact of the matter is, it still was or is a soulmate connection, okay? And you know, soulmates, they come and go. They come to teach you a lesson. They come for a part of your life. Doesn't mean they're going to be here forever, okay? You have several soulmates in a lifetime. Looks like there's trouble on the horizon with this one that you're either, that you've just perhaps let go or that you're still with, okay? Because you've always got your defenses up. It's like it's always an argument. And there's a power and control issue, okay? And it probably is, it's either an Aries, mother, father, or somebody in a fig, in, you know, a, um, authority position of some sort, or this is just the power and control that they want to possess over you. But this is an air sign. That's what I was getting to. This is an air sign. So that's, that's, you're probably involved with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And this is about the energy of this man. Somebody has power and control issues, okay? And they're trying to, t to control the situation completely with no care of what you want. But it's time for you to take back that power and control. And I think that you are. I think that's where you're at right now. Perhaps that's why there's been this split. Because this is a split. And sometimes when you take back the power and control, this is what happens. A happy home life. Because you're not giving it away to anybody. You're happy. Fulfilled. It's about following your own truth. That's why this justice card is down here. It's about you following your own truth. Because you want it to be, this is a, a nostalgia card, okay? You want it to be like it was before. You want the peace. You want the love. You want the beauty of this kind of relationship, okay? And that's what you've been thinking about. You can't deal with this anymore. You want peace. You want love. No more disorganization. No more disarray, disarray okay? And this is your contemplation over the whole deal. I think you you want something from the past to come back. That's what I think. I think you're thinking about something from the past. Maybe it's somebody. All right. Here's this air sign again. Very passionate. Very, very, very passionate. And perhaps, you know, they were a soulmate. Okay, and that's the truth. Okay, that's the truth. But like I said earlier, oftentimes, more often than not, actually, soulmates don't stay in your life forever. They come for a reason or a season, and then you you meet another one, and that's the way it is. And you notice this card, this this stone. I don't know if you can see it. I just noticed it. This is black kyanite. It's a grounding stone. It's for healing, okay? And it's right here over this. And I pushed this up right to it. I just noticed that it's pointing right to it. This is the uh, Ten of Pentacles. Abundance, security, stability, grounded. It's about being grounded. Stability. Stability, stability, stability. Perhaps you have to let someone go 
Virgo, to, re to keep this stability and security within your home. You know, don't cry over it. You can still have this. These are major completions, okay? Major. Big time. These are tens. They're completions. When you let something go, you get something else. It's just the way it is. Somebody has this guy who's on this side of the relationship. He can be cruel. He has a sharp tongue. He thinks only about himself in the situation. He's not thinking about you one bit, not even a tiny bit. This guy down here, <clears throat> he's out for his own good. He's too arrogant for his own good. It's the same person, just so you know. He is very sharp with his tongue. He can say very mean things and not even think twice. Okay, he's very hasty. He's opinionated. Um, and he comes and goes pretty quickly. Okay, he does. He's a very fast energy. He can, he can be at your house for uh, a few hours and leave. Like, no big deal. You know, he's quick. Quick to come and quick to go. That's who he is. He makes hasty decisions. But he does teach people lessons. He does. He teaches people lessons about who, what they do want and what they don't want. He causes you to go deeper within. Because he shakes you things up. And he doesn't care. He keeps on going. He doesn't care. He's out for his own good and his own good only. Okay. This up here. This is about something coming to light and doing the right thing. But it's mainly about doing the right thing for you. That's your justice. Okay. Doing the right thing for you. And I think that you have or are about to. This is for Virgo. What is the right thing, Virgo? What's the right thing for you to do? If you haven't done it already, while I'm shuffling these cards, cards, what is the right thing to do for you? What are you dreaming about anyway? What are your dreams? Ooh, you see that one? It just went like, whew. Damn it. Here we are again. This same guy. King of Swords this time. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance and balance mental and emotional considerations. Okay? This is about owning up to the truth. It doesn't say that in the card, but I'm telling you what it is. It's clarity. Okay? This guy, he speaks his mind impartially he does without tact okay this guy or girl he speaks his mind he gets he does what he needs to do and gets the hell out but anyway speak your mind with confidence sink out professional advice balance mental and emotional considerations do what's right for you in the long run libra that's what the justice card is here for and it's about balance balance balance. It's time to balance things out. This is about balance as well. Things are a little bit chaotic right now. Perhaps you just, you know, you're sick of fighting. Perhaps there's a lot of words going back and forth. Blah, 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 blah. Mean words. Okay. And, and power and control issues. All right. And all you want is peace and love, and I think you're headed out. You're headed in that direction, because down here we have the peace, love, and, and joy, and beauty, okay? And it's way at the end, so it's after all this bullshit. Perhaps somebody's going away. Perhaps there's a breakup. Look at this. Uh, 
this soulmate of yours, who you thought was, or who was your soulmate, it was, is, is pretty uh, mean, per se. Says a lot of mean things, may do some mean things, doesn't care about you. I mean, he does care about you, but he cares about himself more. Way, 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 way more. Okay. And here's you with your guy saying, whoa, whoa, you know what? I've had enough of this. I can't take it anymore. You got your, you, you're ready. You're fighting. Back up. Just back up. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation. Taking a trip. Perhaps you're going to take a trip. To some place. From your past. Perhaps you're going to go back home. I don't know. Anyway, things are looking up. This is towards the middle of the month. Things are starting to look up. The end of a difficult situation. This is July 2017. Jeez, some Carlo. We have it twice. Right together, too, with that. I mean, jeez, some crow. It's true. Because after... You know, you come to this realization that, you know, something didn't work out or whatever it is. This is what needs to happen. Okay, we have it twice. This is basically the same. It is the same card. It's just two different decks, okay? Time to rest or take a vacation. Like I said, a trip. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. This is about going out. Going within. Going, um... Where the hell was I going with going out? <laughs> there was something I was going to say and it stopped me. Damn it. Anyway, that happens sometimes. It's about going within. It's about going within and taking the time that you need to heal. And to get the and go and figure out what the outcome is going to be. It's to plan. It's to meditate. It's to pray. You know, it's a time of a reevaluation um, and being alone and figuring this out and healing yourself. All right, you need to take a break. You can't. This chaos is. It's over. You need to. No more disorganization. It's time to become one. With yourself again. To heal yourself. You're going to be headed towards peace anyway. Peace and love. But when you do follow your own path. When you do the right thing for you. And you decide to balance out your life. Okay. It's because you took this time out. It's because you took the time to, to plan. Okay. So do it. Take the time to plan and to meditate. And let the answers come to you freely. And follow your path. Only yours because that's what this guy is doing. If it's not a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, it's somebody who acts like this person. Alright? This person is very um, quick-tempered. Uh, hasty, opinionated, can be cruel, um, passionate, very, very passionate, uh, humorous, um, diplomatic. I see that there is going to be a time of rest for you. And that's towards the end of the month. I think the beginning of the month, you know, you have went, you you know, you've taken some time. You've had a time of introspection and you've decided to let somebody go because there's been too many conflicts and, and it's affecting your home life. Okay, even though this may have been a soulmate, you know, you can't surrender all of your power and control to somebody. They want the power and control, but you're not just going to give it to them. You're not. And that's why you've been fighting for it. It's like, come on now. 
Is this an equal relationship or not? And this is just too much for you. It's just too much. And there's been a lot of mean words and mean actions, okay? And all you want is things to be the way they used to be. Why can't it be the way it used to be? Okay? It's not fair. But it's up to you to make it fair and to do the right thing for you. You know, and doing the right thing for you, you know, it's gonna it's gonna cause you the need to go within. To go within and pull the answers out, to talk to the universe, to talk to your spirits, um, to meditate. Oh, that one wants to come. <laughs> More. Look at this. It's all, all, all water. Uh, not water. What the hell is the matter with me? This is all um, air. It's all about your feelings. What the hell? This is all about your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. This whole new shuffle whatever you want to call it layout plans that need revision more going on than meets the eye poor timing you're right plans do need revision that's the truth okay perhaps there's been some uh, lies or sneakiness I think there has there's been some sneakiness going on in your relationship Betrayal, lies, and deceit. But you're going to become aware of it. You are. This guy, he's going to bring the, bring the truth. It's not that that guy. That, that right there is energy. The truth is going to come out. That's what that says. The truth is going to come out. All right? It is. And when it does, I think it probably already has, actually. By the time you, you see this reading, if it hasn't come out, it's going to come pretty quick. But I think it's already come out. Okay, the truth comes out. And you decide. You you know, there's a lot of uh, words when the truth comes out. And it isn't going to be pretty. Or it wasn't pretty. Okay? And your defenses were up. Because they had to be. But now, things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation. Taking a trip. All right? back to uh, this taking a trip because this is all you want peace nostalgia why can't what, what, I want this there we go <coughs> eight of pentacles skilled work is rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic going back to school this is really about work you've worked for everything that you have you have done it by yourself you're not just gonna let it all go because of some malicious uh, person who could care less about how you feel all right you've worked you've worked for it to become who you are You've worked for all that you have obtained. All right? Perhaps, you know, I think you're thinking, you're thinking about this. You're thinking about something from the past. Perhaps somebody from the past, all right? And you just want to go back there. And that's what you're thinking about. That is what you're thinking about.
It's time for you to make a big move, Virgo. It is. You need to make a big move that follows your truth, that follows your path, that balances out your life. It's time for you to make a big move, okay? You have learned some major things, okay? You've, you've, you're very, very intelligent. Um, when you learn something, when you start a new project per se, and whatever it is, could be with a person, could be in a job, could be anything, okay? When you start a new project, you go to the extremes to to learn everything there is about that um, project or person. So it's not like you're blind. It's not. You are obsessive about knowing it all. I mean, and not in a bad way. It's not like you are a know-it-all. You do it so that you can um, be the best that you can be for that job or person or whatever. You are very dedicated. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't lose that dedication, okay? Do not. Oh, look at that. Damn it, we have that. Air sign is so prominent, okay? <laughs> Definitely an air sign involved in your situation, <clears throat> which is um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And, and they are quite... Um, <laughs> brutal at times too much they might like to they might be loud they might be obnoxious they might be they are they put them they put their needs before anybody else's and they are in your situation okay and it is really really taking a toll on you because it is so prominent so prominent okay but you're gonna you're gonna follow your own truth, okay? You're gonna probably become independent, more independent. If you are, uh, you are. I see that there's a breakup here. There is, and it's somebody who came into your life to cause to teach you a lesson. All right, that's what happened. But the truth, the truth is out, okay? The truth is out. The complete clarity is here. There's no confusion. You know where you need to go. You know this isn't going to work out. You're not going to give them all the power and control. They can't. They can't have all your power and control. It's just not that doesn't work like that. All right? It's time for you to do the right thing for you. Okay? You have everything you need to survive abundantly. You do. You may need a little bit of time to heal and figure out the forward path, okay? Um, objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you. Is that what you need to do or what? And seeing the humor in a situation. Perfect! Yep, you can see the humor in the situation. You can, fine. <laughs> You know, that taught me a lesson, and I know that I taught them a lesson, you know. So, you know, it was part of my path. I'm going to move forward and not worry about it. And I think you will. I think that once you move forward, you're going to put it behind you and move right on like nothing at all. So that's what's going to happen. Um. <laughs> Look what else came out. This is so funny. Renewal, this is for you, Virgo. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Absolutely, 100% is because you don't want to fight. You want to go back to here. You do. You want to go back to here. You want, you want the nice peace, happiness, calm. You know how it used to be. Okay? 
you're about to make a decision if you haven't already okay and if you haven't then you just need to go in and come up with a plan that's when this meditation comes in a time of rest and contemplation if you haven't made the decision that's your next step all right um it's definitely time to make a decision and clear away all that no longer serves you. Um, review and evaluate. Time to move in a new direction. Plans that need re revision. I mean, come on now. What does this say? It's time to move in a new direction. This is July 2017 for Virgo. Looks like there's going to be some kind of split because there's been too many conflicts and the defenses have been up and there's been a lot of fighting and a lot of nasty words a lot of uh <laughs> back and forth um and it's time for a change that's what i see and when you finally do make that decision just know that you are headed in the right direction you are headed towards love and you are headed towards um loyalty emotional support you are I see I also see that um, you've been depressed okay the depression is gonna go away once you make this depression once you make this decision that's right for you when you put yourself first before this person because just so you before this person this person they're all the same that person it's the same person and it came out prominently that just goes to show you they came out prominently because they want you to see they're first they are first it's a power control issue they're first don't forget it either if you think you're gonna forget it you won't because they'll remind you in so many ways okay um it's caused some depression in, in chaos all right it's time for you to go within that's all there is to it you need to go within and figure out your forward path this is for July all right it's not the prettiest message in the world it's not what I want to tell people um, I would love this to be um, butterflies and rainbows but it's not okay it looks like July is going to be a month of uh, figuring out your forward path that's what it's going to be and perhaps there's going to be some some major changes okay but just remember that when there's a major change or when you hit rock bottom the only there's only one way to go and that is up all right and you are going in the right direction you are going in the right direction We're going to get two more of these. Just two more. What do you have for Virgo? For the month of July. Two more. Something really clear, accurate, and divinely guided. What do you have for Virgo? <laughs> oh! And I wasn't going to do two more cards, but for some reason I did. Because this is what you're going to need. And you have it. It's time to dig it back out. That's all there is to it. You've had it your whole life. And it, I, you know, everybody's seen it. Strength. Great inner strength. Release harsh judgments. Forgiveness and compassion. That's where it's at. Forgive. Forgive this bullshit that's been going on. Just forgive it. Release the judgments. That's their own problem. That's who they are. Whatever. Whatever. See the humor in the situation and let it go. All right? That's your strength. When you can really release harsh judgments, you are strong. Okay? You're strong. You're able to forgive and have compassion for this person who is so hurt inside that they have to act like that. If they have to act like that, then yes, they need forgiveness and compassion because you know 
how strong you are. And it's sad. One more. King of Cups. I was waiting for the bird to talk to you. King of Water, King of Cups. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Right here next to the strength. That's where I put it. I didn't think about where I was going to put it. I could have put it here. I could have put it anywhere. I said it here. It's right with the strength. It's right with the moving to calmer waters. Okay? It's right with this renewal. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity work. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. Move forward. Move forward. Let your guard down. Be done with it. You know? You're done with it. That's all there is to it. And that, I believe, is all that I have for you, Virgo. I haven't looked at my hair. I don't know what I look like. Um, so, yikes. But anyway, um, that is what I have for you for the month of July. It looks like it is going to be an interesting month, to say the least. Um, I think you're going to be letting something go. It's not going to be easy. There's been a lot of uh, bullshit, per se. A lot of mean words. Um, this person came into your life for a reason. They, were, they came to teach you a life lesson and you to teach them one. Um, but you just can't do it anymore. You don't. You can't. You don't want to fight. You just want to go back to the way it used to be. And you need to follow your own truth. That is your justice. Okay. Um, the depression that you've had is, is, gonna, is going to end. Okay. It's going to go away. And you are going to have an abundant, happy home again. Okay. Once you decide to make a decision. Because it's time to make a decision. A real decision. Um. That's all I have for you. I don't think I need to pull any more cards. I think the message is pretty clear. This is meant to be a general reading, and I think that is exactly what it is. If it doesn't resonate with you, um, check your rising sign or your moon sign. I think this is going to resonate with quite a few of you Virgos. I really do. Um, it's time to take back your power and control. You know, nobody, they can't have it. It's yours. That's all there is to it. And that's all I have for you.